think it's going to be getting supplies in uh, when all of us are at home that's going to be the most difficult thing. The amount of time that it'll last for as well is uh, very much up in the air so if it's a, f a few weeks is one thing but I think it will go on for months and months and months. Self-isolation down to the individual, I will do it when I think I need to do it. At the moment I'm fine. It's something you've got to do, you know, you can't just treat it as if it's like some casual cold, like the government says you've got to do it, you've got to do it. I think we're just waiting to see what happens really. Nothing's been definitely said, well, you've got to stop in. So people are coming out, haven't they, and they're carrying on as normal. I agree with what Boris Johnson is saying, but he hasn't actually stated closed down. So it's a bit of a mismatch of the message that he's actually giving. And I think that you can carry on, but obviously with a lot of caution. I think we should follow it. I think we should trust what they're telling us and um, stay away from public gatherings, not go to the pub and anybody who's particularly vulnerable needs to be um, isolated, shielded as they're saying, and we all need to pitch in and help so that they can do it. I did see earlier the pub was actually quite busy and um, the government has stated that you're not really supposed to visit pubs and things at the moment so I don't think that people are taking much notice of it. I work in a pub so obviously people have been told to avoid pubs so it's a bit difficult at this stage, I don't know whether I'm going to be going to work, what I think I'd rather him have said either do, don't go into the pubs at all, ban people going into pubs and bars, or the opposites, don't say anything at all, because at this point it's a bit, it's, it's up in the air, so I think it's really difficult when there's not a proper decision. I just think that we're, we're better sort of doing it, introducing the measures gradually, so that the National Health Service can cope. I believe what the government is saying, they are trying to make it so that the National Health Service can cope with the number of people that are getting it.